In my opinion, WordPress related products are not working in a way that they should. For example, I have a product here and here are displayed some kind of random related products that are taken from the same category. Also, there is no way for me to add my own custom related products. Only upsells or cross-sells can be added. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how you can add your own custom related products as you see on the screen right now. I'm going to show you how to add the related categories or tags or even attributes if needed. And in a similar way, you can exclude categories for the products. And one more thing, while doing it, we can also change the title. For example, instead of displaying title related products, we can display similar products. It's fairly simple solution, so if you're interested, then jump in. In order to make it work, we need to add one plugin. So let's go to the plugins, add new, and let's search for related products for WooCommerce. This one here by WebToffy. Install, and then activate. Now take a look at the WooCommerce menu. There is a related product submenu. Click on it, and let's customize it a bit. So choose working mode, either custom related products, default related products, or remove related products. It's also a nifty feature in case you don't need the related products. Custom related products, that means we're going to add them by ourselves. Default means we change nothing and remove. Well, we know what remove means. Next one, show heading as related products. Let's change it to similar products. Globally relate products by. Just to clarify, let's take a look at the WooCommerce documentation. WooCommerce documentation says that related products is a section on some templates that pulls products from your store that share the same tags or categories as a current product. Sometimes it depends on your team whether the related products are taken from the tags or the categories. And this is the setting here. Globally relate products by category or tag. Let's choose category. Order the related products by product title, date, slug name, random, and so on. I'm going to choose random. Order whether it's ascending or descending. Number of products to display. Let's take a look at my single product page. I'm going to open this one up here. Well, there's room for four. Therefore, I'm going to set it to four. Whether to exclude out of stock products. Yes, of course. Use slider. Well, let's test it out. I'm going to set it to eight. Use slider WPML, use original product ID. If you don't know what is WPML, it's, it's WordPress multilingual plugin. If you're using multilingual sites, and this is one of the most popular products out there. And this set settings allows you to enable whether they're Related products are displayed for the translated products based on their original product ID. Since I don't use multilingual plugin at the moment, I'm not going to use it. Override Teams template enable. And let's see how does it the overriding works. Also, you can use this short code here to display the related products on the posts or pages. So let's save it. All done. Now let's go to the products. I'm going to open up this golden lamp here. Let's take a look. We have a linked products, which usually contains only the upsells and cross sells. But since we installed this plugin, we have a bunch of other options here, related categories, related tags, related attributes, related products, and we can exclude categories that are shown. Now pay attention that if the product contains more than one category, for example, lightning and uh, furniture, then by default, those related products are taken from both of those categories, furniture or light lightning. Therefore, if it contains two categories and I want related category only to be lightning, then I can do that. That means custom related products are not taken from the furniture category. Next one, related tags, whether to use them or not, I'm not going to do that. If the product is not a simple product, it's a variable product, then I can 
change related attributes for example if this is a variable product and contains attributes black and white then i can choose black and white since it's, it's a simple product i'm not going to do that now related products i'm going to add some random ones here some other lamps or some other products just to test it out I'm gonna add more than four in order to test whether the slider works or not no more lamps here therefore I'm gonna select a chair one two three four five six products okay I'm gonna disable the related categories update refresh and let's see what happened and as you see it's pretty messed up here the slider works but the styling is messed up now how to fix that i'm gonna come up here to the plugin settings and i disable the slider save changes refresh it and there you go so at least for my team the slider is not working but if i disable the slider as you see all the six products i added are here since the six is too much let's see whether this setting changes anything i'm gonna set it to four refresh and there you go only four related products with changed heading if i open up the product itself as you remember we added six products here they are chosen randomly but if we change it to product title and save it let's refresh it let's see what happens they are sorted by title let's refresh once again nothing happens but if i order them randomly then every time i refresh the page there is different set of products here and that's how you add custom related products to the woocommerce site now let's open up one other product that we did not add any custom related products as you see there is only a title that has been changed in a similar way i can open it up add my own linked products related products let's add two random lamps here lamp one and some other lamp here update as you remember there was four products now there are only two simple yet effective isn't it so if you don't need a slider then the plugin works really well if you need a custom related product slider then you need probably tweak a bit the css or see whether the slider works with your team now as you see on the screen i have also product badges here instead of the sale it shows a percentage if you're interested how to add custom product badges on your site for example featured badge or new badge or so then i have made a thorough video about how to make it work if you're interested then take a look at the screen right now because there's a link to the video now before you go press on a thumbs up button and let me know in the comments how did you like the video meanwhile take care